Okay, to start this problem off, the difference formula for cosine and sine, they're both going to need the cosine and the sine of both angles. So we need to find out the sine of alpha and the sine of beta. I use the Pythagorean theorem or Pythagorean identity to do that, where cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. So that means a sine squared equals 1 minus cosine squared, since they gave us decimals. If they were fractions, I would probably just figure out a right triangle, but they gave us decimals. So I end up finding that the sine of alpha is 0.327. The sine of beta is 0.577. So for A, the formula for the difference for cosine will equal cosine beta, cosine alpha, plus sine beta, sine alpha, which gets us 0.817. Times 0.945 plus 0.577 times 0.327. And they're all going to be positive because it tells us we're in the first quadrant. Now we just calculate that out. 0.817.95 plus 0.577 times 0.327. And I get rounding off to three decimal places 0.961. Okay. And for B. formula for the difference when we're using sine is sine beta cosine alpha minus cosine beta sine of alpha. So that gets us 0.577 Cosine of alpha was 0.954 or 945 minus cosine of alpha. Oop, hold on. Cosine of beta. 0.817 times the sine of alpha which was 0.327, and we calculate that one out. Make sure, yeah, sine of beta, 0.57, and then, okay. So we got 0.577 times 0.945 minus 0.817, times 0.327, and for that one, rounding off to three decimal places, I get 0.278. Let me go back, make sure I got all my numbers. Sine of beta was 0.577. Cosine of alpha was 0.945. Cosine of beta was 0.817. So that's what you need to do. First, you need to figure out the signs for angle alpha and angle beta. Then you got all the values you need to plug into the difference formulas for cosine and sine.